Now, in breaking news, it has been revealed that the Northern Territory De Deputy Chief Minister Chancy Pache has drove the government's who drove the government's decision to lift alcohol bans in Alice Springs had shares in Medicash, a company that distributes alcohol in Alice Springs. Matt Cunningham has the details. Chancy Paik is the minister who, more than any other, pushed for the lifting of alcohol bans in Alice Springs town camps back in 2022. That followed the expiration of the Stronger Futures legislation, better known uh, as the intervention that had seen alcohol banned in those town camps uh, for some 15 years. Now, we saw the dev devastating consequences of that decision in the six months or so after those bans were lifted. Huge uh, increases in domestic violence, alcohol fueled assaults and hospital admissions. In January last year, the Prime Minister had to fly to Alice Springs and force the Northern Territory Government to reverse that decision. It's now been revealed in the NT Independent that Chancy Paik, who's now the Deputy Chief Minister, held shares in a company called Metcash, which distributes alcohol in Alice Springs. He says he's told that publication that uh, he did everything uh, by the rule book when it came to those uh, declarations and he says he divested those shares when he became the Deputy Chief Minister. Of course he rose to that position after the former Chief Minister Natasha Files was forced to resign after it was revealed she held shares uh, in a mining company uh, on Groot Island that she had failed to declare. We are standing by to hear this morning from the Northern Territory's Chief Minister, Eva Lawler. And that is right on cue. Eva Lawler being questioned by Matt Cunningham and others in the press pack right now about this very issue. While being highly involved in decisions to end alcohol bans in that area, do you think it was appropriate? So, again, ministers manage their conflicts of interest and Chancy Paik, if he had, when he had shares in Metcash, he would have managed that conflict. But we have people, we have, but again, we have, we have members who have uh, shares in Woolworths and Coles. It's exactly the same thing as well. There are still members that have uh, shares in Woolworths and Coles. So how did he manage that? So conflicts are managed very carefully, in, um, so people will make sure if there is a paper in Cabinet or if there's discussions, they step out of Cabinet, so they step... Of cabinet of, no, I, no I, as I said, I'm not going to discuss what happens in Cabinet, but everybody manages their conflict very, very carefully in Cabinet. Uh, at the beginning of every Cabinet meeting, I talk, or whoever the Chief Minister will say, uh, if you have conflicts around these papers, you need to step out so and declare those conflicts. To lift the alcohol bans in Aboriginal town camps in Alice Springs? No, I did not ever hear him say that. 